Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well what we're going to do today is add some elegant theme icons to our menu up here. It's a great idea, a lot of people like to have icons in their menu bar and it's really easy to do. Elegant Themes got a huge font list, it's absolutely three, 360 of them that we'll be using this to do this today and of course they're built in already to the Divi theme here the Divi theme keeps getting better and better with more and more features if you want to take it for a test run you can do so from my affiliate link below this video okay well let's get started if you haven't already got one put a little blurb module on your page doesn't matter what one you put there I've already got one here Let's enable the Visual Builder. And like I say, I've got a blurb module here. It's right here. If you don't have one, simply put a new section in, a row, however you want to do it. Hit the little black button here and select the blurb module. Obviously, I'm not going to do it because I've got one already. Once you've got yours in place, that's fine. Choose any icon that you want for your blurb module. It doesn't matter for this because we're going to change it around when we actually put it in the menu. And of course to change your icon once you've got your blurb module up just go down to image. Make sure your little icon switch is set to on and you'll have all these icons to choose from here. Okay I'm going to get out of the visual builder here because that was just to show you in case you didn't know how to put a blurb module in there. So I'm going to exit the visual builder. I'm going to discard changes. Great. Now what I'm going to do, I'm using Google Chrome here, which has the great inspector tools with it. So I'm going to right click on our little icon there and inspect it. Now when the inspector pops up, yours may be in a different place on the page. You can change the position of the inspector with these little three buttons up here put it where you want it but as long as you've got the elements selected over here you'll have HTML and as long as you've got the styles tab selected over here you'll have CSS we're not using CSS today well we are but not from the panel here and so as I inspected the icon there I'll just take that responsive toggle off as I inspected the actual icon itself there it's highlighted the icon and this is the code what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say edit as HTML and then I'm going to copy left click and drag to copy all the way across there and hit control C to copy it now I'm going to open up a notepad and paste that code in there because we're going to need that in a moment now we can shut this down and I guess well I've already done the home so I guess we'll work on the the sections one there so let's go to our menus and to get to the menus I'm sure you know already go down to your dashboard to appearance and then to menus if you haven't got a menu create a new menu right here I've already got one there's the first one I did with the font in it kind of looks a bit weird there but as you can see it works absolutely fine and to do what we need to do today we need to use custom links because we're not just adding the pages so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down a custom link here expand it for the time being I'm just going to put a hashtag in there because you have to put something in the URL that's where when you click on it it's going to go to I'm going to paste in what we just copied to our notepad there there it is right there I'll save this and show you what that's going to look like it's going to look a little crazy so let's just add this to the menu here it is right here and I'll put it just above our sections one there we've probably got too many this might spill over let's get rid of some of these I'm just gonna take a couple of these away so we've got a bit more working room on our menu okay so I'll save what we've got there like I say that's gonna look a little bit strange but it's saved now let's go to our page and just refresh
And as you can see, we've got that huge icon right there where we put the menu item, which is no good. Uh, well, I mean, it might work for you, but that's not what I want. You can put big icons and have no writing. I want to actually add something beside that. Um, I think we're going to, going to call it sections and link to that sections page. I'll leave that there for a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the sections or the page or post that you want it to do. Just get the URL URL of that. I'm going to copy the link address and give it to this menu item. So that's where it's going to go. So let's go back into our custom link and where I put the hashtag earlier, I'm going to paste the link for the sections page. All right, now our icons actually working there, but it's way too big, way too big. I mean, like I say, you might want that, but I want mine more this size, which from memory, I made that 16 pixels and it's black. Of course, you can make it any blue, any color you want. Um, um, I'm going to be using a little bit of CSS today. Don't let that put you off. Any CSS I use, I'll put below. You're welcome to use it and modify it however you wish. So let's go back into our menu and make this thing a little more uh, manageable, So shall we say. Okay, so we've got span and then we've got class. I'm going to put my style in between span and class. I'm going to put a little gap after span. I'm simply going to write style, S-T-Y-L-E, equals, and two sets of inverted commas. Inside is where we want to write our CSS code. First thing I want to do is give it a size. So we'll say font, dash size, colon, whatever size you want. I'm going to say 16 pixels. I'm going to put a semicolon after it. Always put a semicolon after your code if you're intending to add some more. If you don't, it won't read the next one. OK, and after that semicolon, I'm going to give it a color and we'll say black or whatever color you wish. Color, colon, black is hashtag 000, semicolon. OK, let's save that and have a look now. It should have shrunk down a little bit. Let's save, let's go back and refresh. That's a little bit more like it. It's now the right size. And what I also want to do at the moment, that's just on its own. And I want it to go to the sections page. And I want it to say sections after it, kind of like we've got home here. So let's go back in there. And to add some writing after it, couldn't be easier. Just click anywhere, left click, so your cursor's up there. I'm going to use my right arrow to go to the end. I'm just going to put a space and then whatever it was you wanted to write. I think ours was sections, wasn't it? I guess I'll put that up. I'll make that uh, capitalized. Okay, great. Update. Now let's see what we've got. There it is. Fantastic. OK, I guess I didn't need to capitalize it, but that's entirely up to you. All right. It's a little close to that icon. And that icon is not really the appropriate icon that I want there. And it's a little close, as we said. So let's go back in there. I'm just going to add one little bit more piece of CSS. And I won't close this because we're going to do another little bit. So we got the color. I've actually spelled it wrong. That's why it's not looking very dark there. Color, that's better. If you spell things wrong with CSS, it's not going to work. So let's put a little margin on the right, which will push the writing a little further to the right. Let's say just five pixels or something like that. Semicolon. Now let's go over to our elegant themes icon font set here. I'll put this link below the video. And what we need to do is go down and get the alt codes or the short codes for it. Keep scrolling down. It's about a quarter way down the page. Here we go. Or the unicodes is the word I was looking for. Here we go. And what do I want? Something fairly dark. Perhaps a tool set or something like that. Something like that. I like that one. 
let's use this one I'm simply gonna select the Unicode left click on it it'll highlight it or you can drag control C to copy and that little bit of Unicode we're gonna go back to the menu click on it anywhere right hand key to roll right left to go left obviously there is that little weird looking icon there just select that and paste in the Unicode right there boom there it is and while we're here let's remove this sections one because we don't need two links to the same page let's update and see what we've got now and refresh our page there we go we've got our little uh, toolkit thing there icon and we've got our writing right here let's just make sure those are going to work so let's hit the sections page I've got a feeling the sections page might be identical to our home page no it's not <laughs> that's good so we can see the different pages okay and make sure our home page is going to work fantastic and of course the icons you don't have to have the writing after it. if you don't you can just have icons if you want to and of course the icon will link itself and there you have it just rinse and repeat Pete use exactly the same code but just go in and use the different Unicode to change the actual icon that you want in your section there like I said that's a nice little feature to have on your menu and it's not difficult to do like I say don't let that code put you off I'll put it below please help yourself to it use it how you wish and rinse and repeat for the rest of them no point me doing it anymore I think you know how to do it so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com thanks for watching have a great day